Sup everyone, Dontadlin 2015 here. And welcome to another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here since the beginning, all I can say is, thanks. And now, let's start the video. Buddy, this is Dontadlin 2015 here. And welcome to Thursday Fries. Today I'm going to be reacting to Chew Road Trip Horror Story Animated by Wednesday Entertainment. It actually made almost two weeks ago, guys. So if you all want to check this out for yourself, the link will be in the description, guys. But if you already have, then let's up again. This happened to me a few years ago. It was late at night, and I was on a road trip to Alabama for my great uncle's birthday. Oh, he said a few years ago, guys? Huh. So probably like three years ago, so like 2020, four years ago, maybe? Probably 2018 or something, guys. It was pretty far from where I lived. Almost eight hours. I went to make a stop to refill my car. It was at a shady gas station. Guys, I wouldn't go there if I were you guys. Heck, I wouldn't even go on a road trip in the middle of the night, guys. I had this feeling of discomfort as I got out of the car. I filled the car up, then went inside to pay. When I got inside, I saw they had snacks, so I took two bags of chips and an energy drink. Well, that's normal, guys. Like, you know, it's just, like, two bags, snack, energy drink. I gave the snacks to the cashier, and also paid for the gas. You also paid for it as well, guys. As I stepped out, I saw another car. It was black, and the windows were tinted, so I couldn't see who was inside. The car was positioned sideways in a parking spot. I ignored it and got in my car and drove. I was driving in the countryside, so there were no street lights. Huh? Oh, that was good, guys. You just never, guys. If I were you guys, I would never drive in the countryside, guys. I'd always drive in the city, guys, because. Guys, here in Belmar, guys. Because now I live in Belmar. Guys, I used to live in Winslow, guys, but now I live in Belmar, guys. Here in Belmar, I feel safe here, guys, from any threats of terrorists, of terror, guys, or anything, guys, because Winslow, guys, more of a battleground. More of a terrorist area, guys. So now I'm wondering what's next for Winslow and what's gonna happen in the next for the remain for the next years to come for Winslow. Like what happens next for them? After five minutes I looked in my mirror and I noticed the black car following me. I ignored the car and kept on driving. Okay. Guys, this might he might be a stalker, guys. Then the man came in front of me and started swerving. I quickly passed him and stepped on the gas. I wanted to get out of the area quickly, so I went faster and faster. Wow. That is literally messed up, guys. I suddenly lost control of the car and went into a ditch. Jesus Christ, guys. That guy is mentally ill. I tried calling the towing service, but there was no signal. I got out of the car to go find help and saw the black car. This time, the driver got out of the car, and when I looked at him, I froze in fear. Well, I guess, well, the serial killer guys, because it may have... The serial killers are common, are kind of common now, guys. He had long brown hair down to his waist. Jeez, that is not normal, guys. And had a deformed jaw. As oh my god. Someone punched him. Guys, that looks like... I don't know, guys. It looks like... The Annabelle doll, guys. 3 a.m. in the morning. Don't go on a road trip at 3 a.m., guys, and this is why. He had scratches all over his face and arms, and he had a psycho grin on his face. He lunged toward me and bit my arm. Oh, Jesus Christ, guys. Kind of feels like me sometimes, guys, because I normally bite my arm, guys. But I don't bite my... Sometimes I do have... Sometimes I do have the audacity to bite others, guys, but that's because Hunter, guys, my dog bit me. So, guys, I don't act like a normal person, guys. I can sometimes act like I'm a dog, guys. I tried pinching him with my fingernails, but he wouldn't let go. 
He pulled out a knife and tried to stab me. Oh, Jesus Christ, guys. He, what is this? Serial killer? Devil's Hour? I thought, this is it. Then I heard sirens. The man put the knife back in his pocket and gave me his psycho grin as he ran into the forest. I waved down the police and told them everything. The officer who went into the woods caught him and put him inside the car. That's good, guys. So, who was the person? Apparently, the man escaped from a mental asylum a week and a half ago and stole a car from one of the nurses. Oh my god, guys. That's not normal, guys, is it? Guys, that's not normal, is it, guys? The cops helped me call a towing service, and then when I was back in the city, I rented a car to go to my great-uncle's birthday. All I was thinking about was the man. If the cops had gotten there a few minutes later, I would have been on the news. Jeez, guys, he would have been. And I must say, guys, that was one scary horror story, guys. Just, if I was a man... Guys, if I was someone in the woods driving, guys, and this happened to me, guys... I would probably, I would probably never go on, um... Rides ever. I would probably never go on road trips ever again, guys, if this happened to me. Rumor has it, I'd probably bring a gun with me just in case, guys. But anyway, that's it for today's video, guys. So at this time, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Go ahead and follow me on social media, guys. Like, we appreciate it if you all went ahead and followed me on Twitter, guys. Help me get... I just got 400 followers. Now we gotta get me to 500 followers, guys. Follow me on Twitter. I will follow back, guys. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Keep being awesome, my team. Goodbye.